Although the base network has been repeatedly saying that they are not looking to launch a token, we have seen these claims from the likes of Arbitrum and Optimism, and eventually both of them backtracked as well and decided to launch a token. The base network is still in its very early phases, and they have even launched an NFT that you can mint if you have deployed a smart contract on this network. Even though this sounds very complicated, it's actually not the case. And I'll go through some of the steps you can do to prepare yourself for this rumored airdrop. The base network is still in its testnet phase, so this means that you can carry out transactions on this network without having to use any real life money at all. First thing that we need to do is to get some goldy ethereum in our metamask wallet. And if you're struggling to receive any of these ethereum, you can check out my video in the description below where I'll show you 9 different methods that I've been using to get some of these tokens. So I currently have this amount of goldy ethereum and the next step is to bridge our funds over to the base network. Here's how the interface of the bridge on base looks like and I can choose to deposit a certain amount of ethereum from the goldy network to base. On the right hand side, you can see the details of the transaction that you'll be performing. However, it does cost quite a bit of goldy ethereum as gas fees so you may want to take note of that and ensure that you have enough goldy ethereum in your wallet to be able to perform this bridging transaction furthermore if you're trying to play around with other test nets as well including the consensus zkvm or the scroll network you may not want to bridge over all of your goldy ethereum and you may want to use them instead for these other networks as well while waiting for this bridging transaction to be completed we can add the base test net to our metamask wallet the easiest way is to go to chainlist and you can toggle this include test nets function and on the search bar you can search for Base. The one that we want to add is the base goalie test testnet and you can click on this button to add it to your metamask wallet. After you have bridged your funds over to the base network, you can go to this layer 3 quest and share completed all of these steps as you bridge your funds over to the base network. There's this optional step where you can mint this NFT on the Ethereum network. You can mint this NFT on Zora and even though the fees that are being charged by Zora cost less than $8 in USD, you also need to account for the gas fees that you're paying on the Ethereum mainnet and for this transaction, it costs almost $12 to process it. This is actually rather expensive and I personally chosen not to perform this transaction and you can let me know in the comments if you have minted this NFT. Another application that you can play around on the base network is known as Orbital Finance. So this actually acts as a bridge where you can transfer your tokens across the different layer tools and even to the Ethereum Goli testnet. So this is just the testnet version of Orbital Finance and it's actually quite useful for you to bridge your funds across these different testnets especially if you want to farm for all of these different airdrops as well. What we can do is to transfer our funds from the base network to any of these different testnet layer tools and this also count as a transaction that you perform as well as one smart contract that you've interacted with. The gas fees for this transaction are actually quite cheap on the base network so this doesn't cost much goalie ethereum. You can wait for this bridging transaction to be approved and you should receive your funds on the other layer 2 testnet. Orbital Finance is currently launched on the mainnet and there are rumors that they could be launching an airdrop as well. You can check out my video in the description below where I go through some of the steps you need to qualify for this airdrop. Yet another activity that you can perform is to play this cat attack game on the base network. The main transaction we can do is to claim a kitten NFT. So now I can actually transfer this NFT to a wallet that I own. And you can also include some of your wallet addresses in the comments below if you want me to send my NFT to you as well. Otherwise, you can also choose to send your NFT to another current player. I can select from any of these random addresses here. Whenever you transfer your NFT to another wallet, it will also cost some gas fees. So you may want to make sure that you have enough Ethereum in your wallet to process all of these transactions. After I transferred my NFT, I received the Grumpy Cat and I can choose to burn this NFT as well. If you need more Ethereum on the base network, you can check out my video in the description below where I show you another method of getting this Ethereum instead of bridging them over from the Goalie testnet. Do you find it very hard to keep track of all of the airdrops that you're farming for? I've created a Notion site to track all of the different projects and networks that I'm currently farming for an airdrop. This section includes all of the different steps that you need to take as well as any useful links and a video guide that I've uploaded to YouTube. If you're interested in gaining access to this airdrop tracker, you can sign up for my Substack newsletter and the link to this site will be included in your welcome email. The base network has recently launched this campaign where you'll be able to get a commemorative NFT if you deploy a smart contract on this network. So this may seem quite complicated to you but it's actually rather straightforward and you can follow me along as I deploy my smart contract on base. The steps that I'm using actually come from this Twitter chat by OX Fast Life where I show you how to deploy a smart contract on base. The first thing that we need to do is to go to this contracts wizard by Open Zeppelin. We are looking to create an ERC20 token on the network so we can select this option. So the next step will be to create a name for your token as well as its own symbol and this can be anything under the sun. Under the premium field, this will determine the total supply of your token. So you can choose to enter any random number, it doesn't really matter as this token doesn't have any real world value. You can ignore the rest of the features as we don't want to make this smart contract too complicated. After you've entered these three parameters, you can now click on the open in remix button. This will bring you to the Ethereum IDE platform where you can deploy your smart contract. If you want 
got to this page, you can select the Solidity Compiler and then click on Compile Contract. This tick here will signify that the compilation is successful. And now we can go to the Deploy and Run Transactions tab. This is actually the most important step as it determines the network that you're using to deploy this smart contract. Since I want to deploy this smart contract on the base network, don't forget to make sure that you are currently selecting the base testnet as your active network on MetaMask. So previously when I was trying out these steps, I had selected the Goalie test network in my MetaMask wallet and this resulted in me deploying the smart contract to Goalie instead of the base network. This would be an important step to remember as deploying smart contracts on Goalie are actually very expensive and you pay quite a lot in gas fees. The next step would be to select your environment and we need to change this from Remix VM to MetaMask. You'll be prompted to connect your MetaMask wallet and under this account section, you should see that this wallet address here will correspond to the address in your MetaMask application. You do not need to care much about these remaining fields and we can click on the deploy button. This will cost some amount of gas fees so do make sure that you have enough Ethereum on the base network to process this transaction. If you look at this section here, you will notice that this message here signifies that your smart contract has already been deployed. So the next step that we need to do is to go to the deployed contracts field and expand our newly created token. We can expand on the transfer command and this will give us some options such as selecting the address that we are sending our token to as well as the amount of tokens that we wish to send over. Under the address section, you can paste your very own MetaMask deposit address and you can select the number of tokens that you wish to send over. So if you enter a small amount like 100, you may notice that you are only sending a very small amount of your newly created token. It requires you to add about roughly 20 zeros before you're able to send one of your tokens. So I just randomly spam this amount of zeros to my own MetaMask wallet. So again, this costs a bit of gas fees. It's actually quite low as compared to deploying the smart contract. Once this transaction has been completed, you should see another message prompt over here. So right now we have already deployed our smart contract and we can go to the quest section of the base website. So after you have connected your MetaMask wallet, you can click on start quest. So the first step is to fund our wallet, which is something that we've already done. And this step is to deploy our contract on the testnet. So if you're wondering where is your contract address, all you need to do is to click this button under the deployed contract section. And this will copy over your token's contract address. So you can paste it here and verify the transaction. Base has verified that this is a valid smart contract and right now we can choose to mint our NFT. So this will also cause some gas fees as you mint this NFT. Once this is done, your NFT is now claimed and hopefully this will help you to get a higher allocation of the base token when it eventually launches. If you still need any help regarding deploying a smart contract on base, do let me know your questions in the comments below. These are some of the platforms that are currently live on the testnet and do let me know in the comments if you interacted with any other applications that I have not mentioned in this video. Apart from the base network, there are many other Ethereum layer tools that are still in the testnet version. And check out my video here where I show you another airdrop that you can qualify for without having to spend any tokens at all.